Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman played the starring role in NFL Network's excellent Super Bowl Lee edition of Sound FX. Although the recap of New England's epic comeback started slowly, along with the offenses of the Patriots and Falcons, the mixed up color began to heat up after Atlanta took a 14 0 lead. Shortly thereafter, wide receiver Mohamed Sinu turned to Julio Jones and predicted, We about to get a pick, though. We about to get a pick, though. Falcons cornerback Robert Alford proceeded to intercept Brady and return the pass for an 82 yard touchdown. Didn't I tell you we was about to get one, Senyu asked Jones. Feeling his oats, Senyu turned to Taylor Gabriel and crowed, they ain't never met nothing like this. Gabriel's response, up 21-0 in the second quarter? It's Tom Brady, though. The second half of the Sound FX production is masterpiece theater, chronicling the most exciting 34 minutes in Super Bowl history. Let's examine the anatomy of an epic comeback. 1. Patriots offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels, addressing his running backs in the face of a 21-3 deficit to start the third quarter, do you believe we're going to win? I do, too. Let's just play our best half. I don't want anybody to do anything that you can't do. Don't try to make it up in one play. Each play by itself, okay? 2. Simultaneously. Edelman turned to Tom Brady on their bench and said simply, It's going to be a hell of a story. 3. NFL Films cameras captured Brady's spirited response after Tevin Coleman's six yard touchdown reception put the Patriots in a forbidding 28 3 hole in the middle of the third quarter. Hey! Let's go now. Let's start showing some fight. Come on now. Let's go. Seconds later, Brady paced up and down past the starting offense. Exhorting, got a player harder, got a player tougher. Harder, tougher everything. Everything we got. 4. Just before the Patriots drive, Edelman added, Hey! Let's go, boys. It's going to be a hell of a story. 5. As Bill Belichick chewed a punt and opted for a fourth and three pass, Matt Ryan understood it was a crucial call despite the discrepancy on the scoreboard. Come on, D, this is huge right here man. When Danny Amendola converted the fourth down, Ligarette Blunt offered, that was huge. 6. Brady ended the drive with a five-yard touchdown pass to James White, leading to a failed downsides kick recovered by Atlanta. When the Falcons went three and out, Brady turned to his offense again. Let's make him pay, fellas. Let's go make him pay. 7. Brady marched down the field only to be sacked by Grady Jarrett inside the 10-yard line. Two plays later, Falcons coach Dan Quinn dialed up the same play for Jarrett, let's call it again, guys. Call it again. Jarrett proceeded to drop Brady for the second time in three plays, forcing the Patriots to settle for a field goal. 8. Nursing a 28-12 lead, the Falcons opted for a pass play on third and one from their own 36-yard line. Need a turnover, Edelman beseeched. Need a turnover, D. Linebacker Donta Hightower came off the edge, slid past Devonta Freeman's half-hearted block, hit Ryan's arm, jarred the ball loose and fell on it for the game-changing turnover that Edelman requested. 9. Brady quickly converted, finding Amendola again, this time for a six-yard touchdown that cut Atlanta's lead to one score. What I told you. Hightower said. The last five minutes of the game is where the Super Bowl is made. 10. The Falcons quickly answered with a 39-yard pass to Freeman and a spectacular acrobatic Julio Jones catch, knocking on New England's door at the 22-yard line. Senu bounded toward Jones, shouting, Hey! You a bad man! Standing next to Super Bowl hero James White, Blunt had a different reaction, that's an amazing catch. Every Super Bowl we play in, it's always that one catch. You know what I'm saying? 11. After Freeman lost a yard on his next run, disaster struck for Atlanta. Ryan was sacked, Jake Matthews committed a holding penalty and the Falcons were forced to punt the ball back to the Patriots. Although play caller Kyle Shanahan came under heavy fire for that sequence, he wasn't alone in his aggressive approach to the possession. 
just before Ryan took the field, Quinn implored, let's go attack, Matt. Do what we do. 12. An Edelman fair catch at the 9-yard line meant the Patriots would have to cover 91 years and nail the 2-point conversion to tie the game with 3.30 remaining.